Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about basic pen testing from TryHackMe. So apparently I did this box a long time ago and I didn't recall doing it. And a friend of mine over the weekend was like, hey Pat, you should do this box on your channel. And I was like, oh, I thought I did, to be honest. And I checked and I don't think I did. So unless I just checked wrong, but I didn't see it, but I see that I did do it, but we're gonna go through a walkthrough today on doing this web app test. So, you know, obviously kudos to John Hammond. He has his video up here about five years ago. So obviously check that out as well, but I'm gonna do my own walkthrough and see what I come up with, okay? So I already connected to the VPN and did all that jazz. And let's go ahead and make sure I can ping it. I can ping it. So let's go ahead and kill that. And let's just do a quick Nmap scan. And let me go ahead and just put um, pentest.txt and then the, the IP, that should be fine. You know, I'm just gonna do a quick, quicker scan and let's see what we get. Boom. Since we know it's a web app, I'm just gonna assume port 80 is open. So let's just go ahead and just do this, paste this in here and nothing. All right, so Undergoing maintenance, I don't really remember doing this, to be honest. I don't have any recollection doing it. And I checked my notes in my uh, in my OneNote and my Notion, and I don't have any notes. So I don't know how long ago I did this, but anyhow. So undergoing maintenance, please check later. Let's go ahead and see if there's any like source. That's pretty much what I do when I'm doing any kind of web app box or anything, just to see what's up and check your dev notes section if you need to know what to work on. All right, so we need to figure out something that has a dev note. So what is that telling me? That's saying that we have to probably see what's up and see if there's any like, maybe we can use a f some fuzzing tools to see if there's any uh, directories that we don't see obviously in the pl uh, plain sight. So let's come back here and we can just, you know, first I'll just do robots uh, not robot, robots.txt and nothing. All right, so there's nothing really there. Let's go ahead and see what's up on the, there's nothing there yet either. So let's go ahead and split this. And while that's cooking, we'll let that cook and we'll come over here and we'll just CD to try hack me and just to be in the right spot. So let's just do, for an example, we could do uh, go buster. Let me just do sudo su just so I don't have to. Uh, I can't talk and type. All right. So let me just do, for example, go buster. And let's do the IP address. So what we're going to do is do go buster dir, which is the URL that we're going to be checking out. And then we're going to do the IP address of our box and a word list of um, this word list. So let's see what we got. All right, so I guess you can see, I just wanna check if my big head's in the way. There is something here called development. So we have development, so we can copy this and see what's up. Let's come back out to here. Let's paste that, oh, let's take out this extra slash here and see what's up. All right, so we have dev.txe, so remember, they did say something about the dev notes, right? So our dev, dev notes, so this makes sense. Things are starting to click. And let's make this bigger. I've been messing with the strut stuff. It's pretty cool. I think it might be neat for host on the server too. Haven't made the real web apps yet, but I have tried that example to get the show off, see how it works. And the rest, okay. So now I'm using version 2.5.12. So this is a version of something uh, because the other versions were giving me trouble. Okay, that's a bummer. So we have K and that was in uh, 4.23. This was 4.21. So this was the original. I got Apache set up. We'll put in our contact later, J. Uh, SMB has been configured, K. And then, so maybe, you know, obviously SMB is probably running. I think we can check that now because we can come back to our Nmap scan and see what's up, right? We have port 22, which is SSH, excuse me. We have port 80, which is HTTP. And then we have Samba shares, right? So 
Let's go ahead and kill this over here so we don't need that. And then we have 445-8009, AJP13, 8080. All right, so we can see some things cooking. All right, so then there's a whole bunch of other jazz. Okay, anything else? Uh, SMB, SMB, okay. So what I can do now, since we know SMB is running and what these notes are telling me, so let's go back because there was another note from J, J.txt. My eye is itchy. Okay, so I've been adding the contents of the Etsy shadow, which this is where the hashes are for your passwords on a Linux system to make sure that we don't have any weak credentials. And I was able to crack your hash really easily. You know our password policy, so please follow it. Change the password ASAP. Uh-oh, K is upset with J. All right, so maybe the password is super easy. Maybe something like password, password. But let's come back to, you know, oh my God, my eye is itchy. Let's go back to the questions. Remember, because this is not like hack the box. We, you know, find two flags and go. We have to answer the questions as we come along. So deploy the machine, you hit correct. I find the services that are exposed on the machine. You know, there's, you know, you just do your Nmap scan, hit correct. So here we go. What is the hidden directory when we did Durbuster? or GoBusto, it was development, so that's correct. So using brute forces to find a username and password. All right, so now we have to stop brute forcing, but what do we have? We need to gather some information still. So since we are using SMB, we can use Enum for Linux. So let's do that, Enum for Linux, and let's go ahead and, oh, let me go ahead and get the, uh, Actually, I want to do shares first. Let's go ahead and do shares. And let me come back up here and get the IP address just so I can do that pretty quickly. Okay. So we can see, let's see what's cooking on here. Let's bring this over. Let's come up. So we can see it's work. Uh, the domain name is workgroup. Shares, there's anonymous. There's anonymous share and then IPC dollar. Okay, cool. Uh, so let's see if we can get here. Let's go ahead and copy this and see what we can check out because the, the mapping is okay. So let's just go ahead and use SMB client now. So SMB, SMB client, and let's go ahead and paste this. Okay. And there's no password because it's an anonymous login. And then if we do an LS, we can see, okay. So there is a staff.txt. Okay. So let's just get that. Let's go ahead and get staff.txt. Okay, if I type that right. So what that's doing, it's pulling down from the server to our local machine, our local Kali machine or whatever machine you are using. Okay, so let's do an LS. Now we have this staff.txt. Let's go ahead and cat it out real quick. Okay, and let's see what it says. Announcement to staff, please do not upload non-work uh, non related items to the share. I know it's all in fun, but this is how mistakes happen. This means for you too, Jan. All right, so remember, just the initials were on those notes, right? J and K. So now we have usernames, right? So now we have a username Jan and then a username K, okay? So what we can do next, we can try to see if we can like brute force these users. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and try to brute force using Hydra. That's just a tool of choice. And I want to try to do both, both users. So just for my notes, let's go ahead and I want to open up a notepad. And I'm just going to put Jen and K. All right. Just, just so I remember, because you know, my, my brain sometimes is off the meat rack. All right. So let's just do Hydra. H Y D R A. And then if you don't know what Hydra is, it's a, it's going to go ahead and brute force different services. And from the Nmap scan, we had SSH enabled, right? So maybe we can use some technique to get the password and SSH into this machine. That's going to be my theory. Okay. So let's do Hydra dash L. And then the username is going to be Jan. And then dash password list is going to be, I want to use user share were list uh, rocku.txt, okay? And now I'm gonna use the SSH protocol, right? SSH colon, colon, 
uh, slash slash, uh, and then the IP address. Let me go over here and get the IP address, just so I remember. And I want to copy this IP, and then go ahead and paste that in here. Okay, and then do a dash V for Globus. Okay, so let's let this cook and see what happens. And it's going to go ahead and try every single password in rockyou.txt, right? And hopefully it gives us the result that we need to move on. Okay, so let's go ahead and while that's cooking, let's see what else is what questions are needed. All right, so using brute force, so that's what we're doing right now. So we can hit correct answer. And then what was the username? It is Jan. And the password, we don't know the password yet, right? So we'll figure that out in a sec. So let this cook and see what happens. All right, so here is the password. So we found the password for Jan. So I wanna go ahead and just copy this and throw this into our notes. So let's go ahead and just paste that here. So we have the password as Armando. So now we can go back to our try hack me. And the next question is, what is the password? The password is Armando. Okay. What service did you use uh, to access the server? Answer, all right, SSH. So we haven't, we haven't tried it yet, but this is the service that we were able to crack. So let's go ahead and give it a jingle. So let's go ahead and just, let's go ahead and copy this just so I can copy the IP address. And let's come back to the command prompt and let's just do SSH and uh, do, 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 is it K or oh, Jan, Jan, sorry. Jan at, let's paste that. Yes. And then the password is Almondo. Let's go ahead and just copy this paste that there and here we go okay so let's see if we can uh, ls and ls let's just look around so we have Jan and K so let's start a CD to K I don't think that's oh all right so all right so there is a pass dot backup file let's make this a little larger okay so let's try to cap that out can we ah that's where it is. Okay, so we got access denied. So we don't have the permissions to do so. So we can see what's up. We can see. So in here, we can see that there's a uh, for this file, you know, K has, you know, the permissions Jan doesn't. Okay, so now what we can do is, you know, try to enumerate, you can start checking around. But anytime there's a Linux machine, especially if like it's pretty, if it's an easier machine, maybe even sometimes a medium, it all depends on who created the box and what's all in involved in it. So obviously there's a password pass dot backup file that we cannot access at the moment. So what we need to do is try to access this machine on behalf of K, right? Because K has the permission. All right. So what we can do now is let's go ahead and just do an ls, oh, excuse me. Let's go ahead and ls-la to see everything. So the dot something is the hidden files, right? So if we see dot ssh, that, you know, brings my eyes to that. So if we do ssh, cd, oh, if I can spell correctly, ssh. Now, if we do an ls, we have this, we have authorized keys, id underscore rsa, and then pub. So now we have our private key. So if we cat that out, ID, and we can see that we have a private key here. How about we try to gather this info? So let's go ahead and just, let me go ahead and I wanna make this a little smaller just so I don't make any mistakes by copying this. So let's go ahead and just copy this and copy, whoops, I don't even know if I copied it, copy it. And what I wanna do is I wanna come over here and I want to go ahead and nano, and I'm just going to put uh, ID underscore key, okay? And I want to paste that in here, okay? So now what I want to do is I want to make sure that key is there. And so now we have to, we could try to crack this. We can try to uh, make this into a hash file. We can do quite a few things. So. Let's just try to do that first, see if that is actually um, a thing. So we can do SSH, I believe it's to John, I think, to, to John, yeah. And then ID underscore key. 
And then I want to put this into a file called hash.txt. Okay. Now we have this hash.txt. Now if I cat hash.txt, we can see this hash file. Okay, make sure you can see it with my big head. So now we have this hash file. And now we can see if we can try to crack it. So let's give that a jingle. Let's try to crack this with, let's just use John. And what did I name it? I don't even know what I named it. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, shoot. Let me, let me kill this for a second. I think it was hash.txt. Okay, it was hash.txt. All right, so let's do John hash.txt and let, let's uh, shoot. Oh my God, what is going on with me? All right, so let's do this one more time. John hash.txt and then I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this word list, which is just a uh, rocku.txt and hit enter. And let's see if we can crack it. All right, so that was cracked, right? So now we have beeswax was the password. So I wanna copy this and throw this into our notes. Let's go ahead and, uh, so this might be K beeswax. All right, so I think that looks good. All right, so now what we can do is, let's do an LS. So we have this ID and um, what we can do is just, let's do change mod, right? Let's do change mod 600 and ID underscore key. Okay, so now we can go SSH dash I and then uh, ID underscore key K at, uh, let's go to the IP address. Let's come all the way back up here and let's copy this, paste that, hit enter. And then the, the key is going to be beeswax if I did this correctly. And let's go ahead and copy beeswax paste that here and voila, we are in as K. So now let's see if we can cat this password dot T, uh, password dot back. Let's make this larger so you guys can see. All right, so now we can copy this and let, let's go answer the, the questions. Let's come back to the questions. All right, so what was the password? Armando SSH. That's what we are uh, able to access it. Enumerate the machine to find the vectors of Privesk. We did that. We were able to find the SSH key, download it, convert it, and or make a file and convert it. What is the other username that we found? We found K, so it's K and Jan. If you found the other user, um, you can. What can you do with that information? Obviously we can take that key and try to authenticate to it. What is the final password that you obtained? And this is the password that we gathered from that pass.bak file. So that was pretty much it. I wanna say this was a good, I wanna put it a 10, I always put a 10, submit. So I always think these kind of rooms are so good because it gives you that mindset of like enumeration, um, uh, enumeration and then going in and trying to find the different files and just you know, you don't have to do it in five minutes, 10 minutes, three hours, take your time and actually understand what each step is and, you know, do it and enjoy it. So it is a basic pen testing box. So I really appreciate it if you check this out through the end. And if you guys are going to B-Side Tampa, uh, Hack Space Con, those are the ones that are coming up next month. I'll be at both of them. And of course, B-Side Romania as well, if you guys are out there. In Romania, if you guys support this channel, if you saw this or whatever, I'll be there as well. So if you see me through, say hello. All right, guys, see you guys on the flip side. Thank you.